Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. This is 22nd of June 2022 and we are back again with some of the major articles from the Indian Express. Let's begin our today's discussion now from page number 1, 10 and 11. There are three articles about the Agnipat scheme. So we have combined all this together. Now the first article says that no rollback. Conflict entrepreneurs behind the Agnipat protest says our national security advisor Mr. Ajit Doval. Another article is the editorial article that is headlined as Short changing the Agnivir. Now, educational provisions for disbanded soldiers risk becoming a handout. Now, there's another article that says a four year test for Agnipat. So, you're going to see different point of views on this scheme. So, from these articles, you have to know about the Agnipat scheme, objectives and needs, concerns, recent announcements linked to disbanded Agnivirs, the recent analysis of this initiative, and how responsible should the government be towards the welfare of retiring Agnivirs. All right, moving further on page number seven from GS2 International Relations, Prime Minister to attend the BRICS virtual summit in China on June 23-24. From this article, you have to know what is the significance of upcoming annual summit of five-nation grouping, that is BRICS, background of BRICS, the composition, three pillars of intra-BRICS cooperation, significance of BRICS, the challenges, conclusion, and what is the possible way forward. Moving further on page number 10 from GS3 Economy section, there's an article, what MPC says, what RBI does. Now, the article says that communication gap between the two potentially erodes credibility of inflation targeting framework. So, from this article, what you're going to know is why is communication a critical element of monetary policy? Why is the communication gap between the MPC and RBI troubling? Also, what are its repercussions and what needs to be done in this particular context? Moving further on page number 11 from GS2 International Relations are entwined values and interest. So the article talks about Australia that has a vision for an open, inclusive and resilient Indo-Pacific region. It is a vision shared by partners like India, says, says the Deputy Prime Minister Richard Mulls. From this article, you have to know about the comprehensive strategic partnership between India and Australia, the potential in India and Pacific Oceans, Australia's approach to the Indo-Pacific, its relevance for India, the key analysis and what is the possible way forward. All right. So moving further on page number 14 from GS3 Economy Sector, there's an article, India's Emerging Twin Deficit Concern. From this article, you have to know what are the findings of latest monthly economic review, how economic growth outlook is likely to be affected areas of concern for Indian economy and suggest ways to handle them. Another article that is the point of interest rate hike. From this article, you have to understand what is inflation. First of all, how does it affect and what is the link between rising food prices and central banks raising the interest rates? All right, moving further on page number 14 itself from GS1 Geography, there's an article about the summer solstice. Now, June 21 is the longest day in the year in the Northern Hemisphere. So the article talks about why do the day and night durations vary. From this article, you have to understand what is the summer solstice and how is it significant. All right. Moving further on page number 15 from GS3 Economy Sector, there's an article, RBI puts a stop to credit lines on prepaid instruments. From this article, you have to understand what has the RBI said in its recent notification? Why has the RBI issued this notification? And what exactly are the prepaid payments infrastructure, that is the PPIs? Further on, you have to understand what is a credit line. So with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Headlines of the Day, the Indian Express. I'll see you with more such videos. Till then, take care and do stay tuned.